Hello everyone, greetings from TCC. In this video, we'll see practical number seven that is configuring iOS intrusion prevention system using the CLI. Before we start with the actual practical, let's configure the topology first. And this topology was same in practical number one, four and six. If people are well aware that how to configure this network, then you can skip this part and directly shift to part two of this practical number seven those who are watching this video for the first time so stay along let's configure this network so coming back to cisco packet tracer we need three routers here i'll quickly rename them this is r1 this is r2 and this is r3 okay then we need switches on the left hand side and one on right hand side then we need end devices one pc here one server and one pc on this end let's give a proper name this is pc a what they have asked for this is pc b and this is syslog server let's make the connection now So basically here we have four different networks. Okay. So this network on the left hand side, you all can see this network will be 192.168.1.0. On the right hand side, this network will be 192.168.3.0. And between this router on the left hand side, it will be 10.1.1.0 on right hand side, 10.2.2.0. But we want to have here serial connection. So for that, we have to go to the router zoom in switch it off place this module and switch it on do it for other routers too that like is zoom in switch it switch it off place this module and switch it on this is what i'm inserting the serial ports okay now having connection from serial port 010 to 010 and from here 011 to serial 011 okay now let's configure the network quickly on the left hand side we have got the network i'm configuring this interface okay this router this interface that is giga bit ethernet 00 the ip address will be 192.168.1.1 Let's go to PC, desktop, IP configuration, IP address will be 2 and default gateway will be 1 which is the router address. Close. Let's go to the server, desktop, IP configuration. Okay, what they have asked precisely that we have to give the IP address to the server as 1.5050. Okay, we'll do the same but default gateway will remain same closes we are done with this network let's come to the on this side of the network this interface is gigabit 00 so click on the router go to config go to gigabit ethernet 00 okay now this will be like 3.1 because the network is 3.0 here subnet mask copy this close it go to pc one is gone let's give it to the PC default gateway will be one then close so these two networks are configured let's configure this remaining two networks so let's go to the router r1 and check the interfaces properly the r1 is connected through which interface place a mouse yeah serial 010 on both the end so right click uh, let click on it go to serial 010 give it a IP address 10.1.1.1 you can change this if you want to because it starts from 10 of course this ip address belongs to class a so that's why the subnet mask is by default coming 255.0.0.0 if you want to change you can change otherwise you can keep it like this only okay in practical they have asked you if you will see the configurations 
okay they have asked you precisely that you have to keep the subnet mask this okay so you can keep this either or i can either you can go with this the simple one that is 255.0.0.0 subnet mask and wildcard mask will not play any role here in this practical so i'm also skipping that part if you want to keep it you can keep it okay but do remember while keeping it because everywhere in in this interface in all the four interfaces you have to keep so i'll just go with this default one only so i'll switch it on let's go to router r2 now uh, the interface was serial 010 and the ip address i'll give 10.1.1.2 one was gone so switch it on close okay so this network is on now let's talk about this network i will place the mouse the interfaces are one one on both the side so let's go to r2 now serial 011 uh the network address was 10.2.2.1 one i can give the address because zero was the network address okay it is uh, saying that it is overlapping with the serial 010 okay let me check okay fine so this is the problem it is creating here that this 10.1.1.2 is overlapping with this 10.2.2.1 okay so in that case what we can do we can change the subnet mask now so we can have it 255.255.255.252 okay set it switch it on and make the correction here also on r1 also okay go to serial 010 okay so 255.255.255.252 So let's avoid the confusion. Okay, this network is on. Let's go to serial zero one one now. Now let's have a ten point two point two point one. Okay, I'll not explain you why that error was coming because for that you will have to understand the classful and classless addressing concept. But let's stick to the topic and let's place the subnet what mask what they have given. I'll switch it on. So one is gone. Let's go to this router now. That this is the interface serial zero one one. And ten point two point two point two. Subnet mask will be two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty two, and switch it on. Okay, now let's implement the routing. So let's go to R one and make the router aware that to which network it is connected to. So let's go to R I P. We'll be using the protocol R I P here. And R one is connected to two networks. On one on the left hand side, that is one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point zero. On the one on the right hand side, that is ten point one point one point zero. So let's add it. So one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point zero. Add it and ten point one point one point zero. Add it. Close this. Go to router R two. Do the same thing. R two is connected to networks. That is ten point one point one point zero. Add. 10.2.2.0. Click on Add. Done. Click on R3. RIP. 10.2.2.0. It is connected to. And one on the right hand side, that is 192.168.3.0. So if you try to ping from one device to another device from any of this network, the result will be successful. Okay. Now, one more thing we have to configure here. Like in all the three routers, we have to enable the password. What they have asked basically. So if you see the practical, like this is the configuration they have set, and this is the table they have given, and uh, these are the objective. We'll come to that part. Wait a second. We'll we'll discuss this background and scenario in the part two. But they also have asked that like you have to enable the password, console password, and SSH. See, all these things are given, even though they are not required here. so you can skip this okay even i am going to skip this like how to configure the ssh you all can refer my previous video in practical number 1 2 i have implemented the ssh protocol there even ospf in the practical number 1 like how to implement open shortest path first practical making areas okay but here in this practical it is not required so only i'll do i'll just enable the password here on the routers and for that you have to go to the router r1 Okay, go to CLI. Exit from here. Okay, we are in config mode. Make sure that you give a proper host name to all the router. Okay, so I'm making sure like host name is also R1, like display name. Okay, so I'm on R1 now. You all can see, and the command is simple here to enable the password. Like this, enable. 
password level 15 me giving all the privileges and the password we can set to Cisco one okay done and you have to fire this command in all the three given routers so that was that's what that's it from this part one okay we are done with the whole setup of network now in part two we'll actually begin with the practical thank you that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such updates follow us on instagram and facebook